Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to do loose, um, like fluffy Hollywood curls in your hair. Um, this isn't the kind where you wrap your hair around a barrel. I'll be doing that in a different tutorial. These are actual like curl curls. Um, so to actually get started, I've already dried my hair and I've already put in it a little bit of um, Oregon oil or you can put in kind of whatever um, oil is works best for your hair or whatever you have around. And I've also put a little bit of um, a blowout cream in it as I was blow drying it. Um, I have the Garnier Fructis Full and Plush um, uh, Voluminous uh, Blow blowout. Um, I've also used the L'Oreal New Volume Filler Densify Gel. Also really any kind of blow dry cream just to make the hair a little bit more full and it'll have a little bit more texture in it since we are going in with clean hair. Um, if you have super super fine hair you probably want to go in with a little bit of dry shampoo before you get started even if you've just washed your hair. Um, so you can use something like the Dove Dry Shampoo is really great or I think Pantene has one actually that I usually keep at work. Um, just to kind of add a little bit of volume in my hair if I need to, or you can even tease a little bit. Um, but because it's such big curls, you probably won't even really need to tease. Um, you now, if you want super loose curls, you can go in with a really like fat um, curling iron, but I'm actually gonna use a one and a quarter inch one. This is one and a quarter, or even anywhere between one and one and a half inches is probably good for these types of curls. Um, because like I said, it's not going to be like the loose boho waves. This is gonna kind of be like a more full curl. Um, so I'm actually gonna start by just t sectioning off kind of above the crown um, and kind of clipping that out of the way because I'm gonna go in and start with the bottom layers. So I know this looks kind of crazy, but just kind of clipping this up out of the way um, or repinning it or whatever so that we can go in with the bottom layers. Um, I kind of tend to start in the front and work my way back around, but you can go either way. Um, I tend to put it on a fairly high setting, um, but you definitely don't want it to be to the point where you feel like your hair is burning. Um, but I usually just take a small piece, probably about an inch, inch and a half, um, clamp the, um, you can see like the clamp here, clamp that on the hair to the end, and I pretty much have um, it down all the way till the end um, and leave that end piece in. If you want the curls really loose, you can just leave a little bit of the piece out. Though when you are using the duck bill, it might crimp it a little bit. Um, so these are kind of your like typical, um, like you can see here, very like bubbly, fluffy curls. Um, and just basically taking little, sorry, I'm just looking at my mirror here. I need to actually scooch this. There we go. Um, I'm just going to kind of work my way around the hair and as you can see here I pretty much have my hair um, as I said all the way in the clamp um, and twist that up and pretty close keep it pretty close to the hairline again unless you want really loose curls this these are good for like if you have like a fancy event or like today I'm going to be anchoring so um, it's just like very like a, a like I said curls that you would think you'd wear to like a fancy event um, and just hold it there for a few seconds. I usually like to touch it once the hair starts to feel a little bit warm, release it. Definitely don't want to hold it too long. If you have a bigger piece, obviously hold it for a few more seconds. Um, but this is really um, a great hair, like, hair look to do um, if you really have any big event that you're going to and want your curls to really stay in place all night. Um, you know, going in and kind of doing it in sections will really keep it looking nice and fresh. Um, now, if you have really super, super fine hair, something you can do is take a really like light hairspray like um, the L'Oreal Elanet Satin or like a Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray, just like a lighter hairspray, and spray the strand actually before you curl it here. We'll do one piece like that just to kind of show you. Spray a little bit on it and then go in with the curler. That's going to really, really keep those curls in place. And you can even do that if you really want the, la the look to last all night as well. I feel like growing up doing like dance recitals and theater, um, I feel like curling became just like such a, like a fun thing to do like with my mom and my sister. Um, it was like we were so excited to curl our hair. So once you've kind of done that bottom layer, um, depending on how long or how thick your hair is, you can go in and do a couple more layers. I would probably section it to three, so you know maybe do one kind of middle layer and then kind of keep the crown on top um, and go back in for a third layer there. Um, but if you have really fine hair, I guess you could probably do one or two layers. Especially in the front, I like to do smaller pieces because it's just a little bit easier to go back in. Um, and kind of fix anything afterwards. And I like to brush through my hair before I get started um, just to really make sure that the curls are smooth as well. And if you have layers, it can be a little bit more tricky um, to get everything to stay really uniform. Um, but just, you know, kind of go bit by bit and take your time. 
And again, I like to keep it pretty close to the crown um, to add a little bit more body. Like if you, for example, if you just take the, the bit out here and leave a bit straight, it's going to be a little bit of a looser curl. But if you want a little bit more volume, I like to bring it pretty close to the crown. Just be careful because I think we've probably all had, you know, burned an ear or a neck at one point from bringing the curling iron too close. So just be really cautious. Okay, and then we'll go in with our last top layer here. And this is really when you can kind of decide like how much body you want in your hair. Um, I'm just gonna make sure I have kind of a straight part here. Um, I'm actually gonna start at the back for this top part here. Um, but if you really want a very, like really super full bubbly look, um, you can do more, um, you would curl more on the very, very top layer. So like smaller pieces and kind of closer to the crown and even go back in and maybe do this long piece and then go back in with just a shorter piece of hair on top of it. Um, but again, if you want something that's not quite as big, um, you know, Jersey hair, you can go in with those longer pieces. Um, my hair actually usually has like a huge mane when I first curl my hair, but then within like an hour, it really um, calms down a lot. So I kind of like to make it really big at first because I know it's going to kind of settle down. And definitely don't put too much hair into each strand, even though sometimes it can feel like it's a little bit faster to curl. Really, you're kind of burning the hair that's closest to the curling iron when you put too much in versus if you just put a smaller amount of hair in and hold it over the curling iron for less time. Um, you're, you're kind of not going to damage your hair quite as much. And again, that's why it's important to put either some sort of a hair oil or a heat protector in first before you go in and do any products. Because I mean, really we're blow drying and curling, so we are putting a lot of heat on the hair. And be really careful with these really fine baby hairs that you have. Um, you know, really hold them just very, very, ooh, just hold them, you know, very briefly on the iron and, and let them out. Okay, I think that that is all the curls I want. Um, you can either put your hair upside down to kind of spray it for first or go through. Um, because I'm going to probably be touching it up throughout the night since I'm going to be anchoring, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a um, lighter um, a hairspray that uh, is a little bit more movable. So I have the L'Oreal El Net Satin. Um, this one kind of um, sells itself as being, disappears with the stroke of a brush, really movable. So I can go back in and fix it and my hair is not going to feel really, really crunchy. But if you were, say, going out for the night and you really wanted this to stay all night, I would definitely recommend a really strong hold. The Big Sexy Hair is amazing. If you really, like I said, want that hair to stay and it's going to give it even more volume as you're hairspraying it. I don't even know how it works, um, but it makes that hair really, really full. Um, and it will fall out a little bit, but this is the one to use if you want it to stay. But because, like I said, I am going to... Um, be touching it up throughout the night going you know back on the on the desk and then touching up my hair and makeup I'm gonna use something that's more movable what I like to do is kind of um, uh, pull up the hair kind of butterfly it and kind of spray like through the hair here and that kind of adds a little bit of body too and I should not even be wearing my contacts while I'm curling my hairspray just be careful your eyes and then a little bit in the back as well And especially if you're using a lighter weight hairspray, do not be shy. Um, I feel like I used to be kind of scared of hairspray. When I was younger, I'd always be like, Mom, don't put it in. It's too much. Like, or it smells bad. But you really have to use it. I even use hairspray on my hair when I do it straight, which I will also do in another tutorial. Um, but, okay, so there we go. I think that that's probably enough it looks my hair looks a little bit crazy right now but like I said it will kind of um, fall down as the day goes it's a little bit of this like huge jersey here right now I also like to do a little bit on top kind of tame some of those flyaways a little bit um, just without sacrificing volume there um, and maybe just a little bit more in the front and again I would really kind of work your fingers through it make sure the curls are, are loosened up a little bit um, but okay, that is the completed hair look. So these are kind of the fluffy, big, fancy curls. Um, like I said, I will be doing some kind of other curl styles, more wavy. Um, but I know this is one that a lot of people want to wear if they're going out to a fancy event um, or have a job interview or something where they want their hair to look really polished. So I hope this video was helpful to those of you who are hoping to achieve this look. Hope you have a great week. Please like and subscribe.